Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a valve body here. It's a 4L60E valve body, and this is a 95 model. Uh, this is a different valve body than the other the other video that I uh, showed you on the uh, TCC isolator valve. Now on the early models, instead of flipping the valve like I showed you on the other one, on the early models, uh, there's a spring that comes in the overhaul kit. That's the overhaul kit that I'm working on for another 4L60. So we have a TCC or torque converter clutch uh, isolator valve spring. And uh, here are the uh, directions and the location. And uh, solenoid goes here. Uh, pulse width modulated uh, TCC PWM solenoid goes here and on the opposite end there is a 3-2 uh, downshift solenoid and uh, what we what you need to do here what we need to do here now is install this spring and this is the valve lineup this plunger goes in first in the bore so there's the empty bore this plunger goes in the bore first And then the spring, that yellow spring is the original spring, okay? So there is the plunger in there. Now uh, we're going to uh, kind of open this up here. Let's see if I can manage this to do it with one hand. I don't think I am. Okay, let me let down the camera. Okay, so here is the spring, and as you can see, there is a big difference on both springs. One is larger uh, than the other one, and it's a fairly uh, thick or uh, heavy spring. And what you want to accomplish with this, you eliminate this one here, and then install this, the end plug, and the clip. So basically what, what that is doing is uh, uh, locking the valve so that it won't move but you have both ends on the opposite end you can also drill the plate like I showed you on that other video if you want to see the location of those holes refer to that other 4L60 valve body video but this is how you you would install it and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and push it is it takes a lot of force it's a very heavy spring kind of position your plug there so there we have it there it is installed as you see here you can probably see it I, I don't think I need to uh, shine the light there but the plunger is all the way up here the spring is in the middle and then you have the outer part of that valve there so uh, here we have it this is for uh, 1870 uh, P1870 trouble coat and this is one of the reasons why you would get that coat not all the time uh, is this a problem uh, but the valve body wears in here and then the valve uh, gets hung up either on one end or on the other end and the torque converter clutch will not come on and you will have no torque converter clutch the computer sees the rpm uh, uh, not dropping and uh, it throws a p1870 transmission component slipping code if you already have this set up on your valve body and you have the p1870 transmission component slipping codes then it means what it says there is a transmission component that is slipping. It could be the band, it could be a, a clutch pack, uh, forward, third gear, uh, or anything else inside the unit. So uh, 1870 transmission component slipping, it means what it, means what it says it means. Uh, most common problem is this, address this first. And then, if you still have that code, then you can pursue to see what else is causing that trouble code to pop up.